photographing technique, no trouble. This is Ari. Triads are much harder than four note chords. Four note chords may be difficult from a theory standpoint. There's a C major seven chord, for example, versus a C seven chord. There's a C minor seven chord and a C minor major seven chord. So to understand what these chord symbols mean, that's one thing, okay? So if that's what you mean by hard, that's fairly easily fixed with learning music theory. But as for the claim that triads are harder to play than four note chords, I want to go a little bit deeper into it because it's really worth it for your playing technique. One reason why triads are harder than four note chords is because triads always will involve some sort of a string crossing if you play them all the way. Now, if we play a triad just like this, sure, that's easy. Or you could also play it like this, right? But I always encourage you to not just think in terms of root three, five, but to encompass all the notes that are in that particular area of the bass. So if I play a C major triad, I can also hit this C and I also can hit this G, they are within reach, right? I'm not even talking about moving all across the fretboard, where triads also pose a more difficulty than four note chords. It doesn't matter which area of the bass I'm in, but whenever I play from the lowest possible note to the highest possible note in that particular area of the bass, I will run into string crossing when I do. See? It's also difficult from the top down. Right, if I'm going through all the different areas of the bass. So you have this string crossing movement, which is quite challenging to get smooth. To connect the notes in a string crossing is a bit of an art and takes some practice. So that's one of the reasons. When I play the same thing with four note chords, like for example, I'll play a C major uh, seven chord now, and I arpeggiate that again, not just from the root to the root, but the whole area of the bass. It's much easier. easier because I do not have that string crossing with one and the same finger on the same fret from one string to another. By the way, what some people sometimes do to avoid this slightly uncomfortable or practice worthy, shall we say, uh, movement is they use a different finger. And that of course then means that your hand has a ton more movement going on than it needs to, right? While there are some grooves, like example something like this you can totally use a different finger for this string crossing here rather than you can do that but that's typically a groove that stays like this for a while if I just want to crank out a fast lick and go all across the bass this is easier than this So those two reasons are the main reasons. Triads involve string crossing, four note chords don't. Triads give you three notes before you start over and if you want to go all across the bass you have to jump way sooner, whereas the fourth note in the four note chord gives you a note close to the root, which is also nice, you know, because it's either going to be this note or this note, right, um, where you can sort of have your bearing for a second. Here's reason number three why triads are harder. When I do triads, I have sometimes one note per string, right? And sometimes I have two notes per string. When I play four note chords, I have a much more symmetric situation in the hand. Not always, like for example, that G is, is it's a, a, a lone note there. But it's much easier on the hand to have two notes per string rather than one. You know that because when you play a pentatonic, that's also easier. You always have two notes per string in a pentatonic scale. 
And you know these string crossings are not just a challenge in your left hand, they're also a challenge in your right hand. Now, if you've followed talking technique for a while, you know that I like to alternate in my right hand for most situations, not all, but most. And you know, if I have, for example, this kind of shape for the triad, this is root three, five, eight, right? There's a different note on every single string and going up and down. See the reason why I really like alternating better than raking when I go down is because first of all it sounds a little bit different to me, but also when I go up in this shape, for example, is root three, five, eight, right? I go index, middle, index, middle, or I go middle, index, middle, index, doesn't matter. Index middle lies a little better here for me, but it doesn't matter which one you start with. I've already executed the alternating going up because going up you would never think of raking. I mean you wouldn't do this, right? All with one with one finger. So um You've already done it. Your hand has already understood it, so to speak, right? So why not use the same logic when you go down, right? So when I go down, either index, middle, index, middle, or middle, index, middle, index. Now in this shape, for example, also talking about the right hand here, in this shape, I'm going in the, having two notes per string and one note per string alternating. And if I just alternate index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, it just um, lies very comfortably in my hand and it feels like a plan. I don't have to reinvent the wheel or think about what I'm going to do with my right hand. But it is a bit more of a challenge than when I have two notes per string. So I'm going to play a little groove, one, six, four, five, in C, and I'm going to play it back to back as a triad based groove as well as a four note based groove. Do you know I've experienced when I ask students to find all the triad notes within an area, they have a much harder time than when I ask them to find all the four note chords within an area. Right? So if you were tasked with playing all the possible notes of C and G, often this jump just doesn't come to mind which shows me they're not using it in their musical context either, whereas it's something that sounds so cool and can be used in so many great variations and grooves and such. So it's really a limitation to not think of this jump. Now, when you have a four note chord, there is a, a little pause for your hand to bring that extra note in and to avoid that slightly uncomfortable or unusual. For me, it's not uncomfortable at all. You can learn this, make it second nature. That's what I recommend. I'm going to demonstrate this now uh, as a groove. One groove will be triads, the other groove will be using four note chords. Now, when I use the triads, they are diatonic. When I use the four note chords, they are diatonic. What does diatonic mean? I'm only using notes out of the C major scale in this case, because I'm in the key of C. This will hook you up if you have trouble with any of that. that with the four note chords. Easier on the fingers and easier on the mind because you have an extra note to play with. Also notice it when you improvise with it, right? Um, that there's more space. <laughs> there's one more note you can stick in there. And it's easier because you have it in the same, you do not need to do a string crossing to access it. Thank you. 
watching no travel if you're interested in my notebook it's called the pattern system for the bass player and we have indiegogo campaign starting for it very soon please go to arispaceblog.com and check out the latest cheers see you next time